So, here we are, Agent Thornton. Guess you can go home again. If by home you mean prison. Mr. Westridge first spoke to you in this room, didn't he? Interrogated, actually. It's a really dull conversation. When he asked you why you volunteered for Alpha Protocol, do you remember what you told him? I think I said it was my duty to volunteer. It sure feels that way now. You ever had an intern position at a government agency? I have. I have. Need I say more? All my exercise was with the papers from desk to desk. I'm here to do work, not sit back and manage it. I want to be out where the action is. I want to make a difference. Well, that didn't turn out like you thought. When the reality met the expectation, reality won out. There's a lesson there, I think. You see, that's what I find interesting about you as a case study. When it came down to it, you found your job was more important. The mission. Maybe a hint of duty. We all imagine how we'd act when tested. Not many people ever get the chance. You did. Did you like who you became, Mike, when reality came knocking? You'll have to excuse me, but I asked for this next part to be recorded for posterity. I wanted to make sure it's captured perfectly. Do you know what I like most about our relationship, Henry? It's these special moments, you and I, talking about the world. It's really cozy. So when you're asking me if it's all worth it, not yet. But it will be when I look back on this years from now and get this beautiful wave of nostalgia. Never mind then, Thornton. Seems... I'm not done. What I'm gonna remember most is how you thought you had it all under control before this little plan of yours came crashing down around you. All right, Thornton. I think you misunderstand me. You see, I'm not here to gloat. I'm here to offer you a deal. I'm not giving up the film footage, see? I don't care, Mike. That's a separate appointment in my calendar. Right now, we're discussing you and Helbeck. What are you talking about? If you stay here, it isn't going to turn out well for you. The best you could have hoped for was to be captured by Alpha Protocol. Then they can erase you, quietly. To me, that seems like a waste of talent. Really? Really? Do you know why I used you in the first place? I'm all ears. Because I recognize an asset when I see it. That is the reason Hellbeck is where it is today. And why our numbers are so high. It's also why Mr. Marburg chose to work for me. It's because I recognize value and I reward loyalty. You're offering me a job. Mike, you already work for me. I'd just like to make it official. We have an excellent insurance package. What makes you think I'd even consider that? Because you can't go back. You found out too much. You know where all the embarrassing little connections are. That makes you a good agent, but a rather large liability. Me? I have a different perspective on the situation. I know what you did needed to be done to achieve results. It's a rare quality to find someone willing to think outside the box. You're setting yourself up to get put in a box, Leyland. Get to the point. This was the same talk Marburg and I had a long time ago, although I didn't know his agency connection when I hired him. You're a special case. I was able to recruit right from the source. So, a few things. One, you're going to be executed at worst, or at best, spend life in a CIA prison in Eastern Europe. Two, this will be the last conversation you will have with another human being. And three, it really wasn't my fault that this whole situation happened. But I think you already recognize that. What a surprise to hear you say that. Anything else would be admitting responsibility. We wouldn't want that. Actually, responsibility and accountability factors into it. Mike, your government needed my contracts. They hired me to build this place. And worst of all, they created you. Worst of all? Yes, because when they create programs like this, there's no accountability. And when people never have to answer for the things they do, 
Sometimes actions need to be taken without the red tape. It's necessary. No, it's not. You're sitting in a cell because of it. Your life over. Because of something they did, they'll never have to answer for. I can fix that. We can fix that. How? Make them accountable. I don't need Alpha Protocol anymore. It's going to be shut down, sanitized. But if selected footage reached the world about its presence, well, that might be the best for all parties. What? So you can make new hostilities? Drive up sales? My role in this is already protected. You got my missiles back. Shahid is dead, and all your operations in Taipei, Moscow, Rome, it didn't change anything. I can give you freedom, a new lease on life, even a villa of your choosing anywhere in the world. All I need is your cooperation. So, is it a deal or not? A future or no future at all? I've given it careful thought, and I think the words I'm looking for are... Fuck off. <sighs> Disappointing. The soldiers will be here in a moment. They're going to take you to the medical lab and then pump you full of drugs, which will most likely result in your death. We could have made this work, but now only I reap the benefits. Goodbye, Mike. No, Leyland, it's not. I'll see you soon. <laughs>